Hi everyone, it's Mio here and today I'm going to show you how to make this really adorable latte cup using polymer clay. If this piece looks familiar, that's because it's based off of Macaroon's latte cup. She's an amazing crafter and I encourage you guys to check out her channel. Instead of making a cat on the very top, I decided I want to make something based off my puppy dog, Coconut, who is my new addition to the family household. She is a 3 pound Pomeranian and she is just full of love and joy. I really wanted to create something with her and this is what I chose to make. We're going to start by making the cup. I chose a light mint colored clay and I rolled this into a really thick snake. Using a roller, I gently flattened this out into a nice long thin sheet. This sheet needs to be about 5 millimeters thick. You don't want it to be too thin because this determines how thick your cup actually becomes. I gently cut off one curve which is going to be one side of my cup and I kind of guesstimated how large my cup was going to be and cut off the rest of the clay that I don't need. Taking a nice size ball of clay, this is going to determine the size of my actual cup. I'm going to take this ball of clay and cut it in half and this will form the inside of my cup to give it more stability. Be sure to smooth out any rough and uneven edges. Gently position the flat part of the sphere about one centimeter below the edge of the cup. This will allow room for you to place your foam character at the very top. Remove the excess clay and be sure to spend a lot of time smoothing out the two edges together so it forms one nice long smooth cylinder. While you are smoothing out all your edges, I also spent some time trying to make the bottom part of the cup more into a nice little cone shape at the very bottom. This will help me remove the excess clay more easily. Once you're happy with the shape of your cup, to remove the excess clay, you can use a blade, but I use a string just like Macaroon because it actually helps make a more flat surface. Wrap it around the bottom, pull the two edges together, and you remove the excess clay. Smooth out everything and you have the basic form of your cup completed. Using this technique, I was genuinely surprised how realistic and smooth my cup looked. All you need now is a nice little handle for your cup, so take some extra clay, roll this into a nice long thin snake. You're going to flatten one edge and just gently position this nice little rolled snake on the side of your cup. I spent a long time using my clay tools to smooth the handle into the cup. This will make your cup look more realistic in the end. Once you're happy with your cup, go ahead and put it in the oven and bake it for 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. For the foam, I'm using a special polymer clay that's extra soft. I'm using specifically the Sculpty Extra Light Clay. And all I'm doing is taking this extra clay and putting it on the very top of my cup. And it fills it all the way to the brim. 3D Latte Art usually has foam kind of poking out the very top of your cup. So by adding some extra clay around the rim of your cup, you can make it look more realistic. All I'm doing here is texturing everything into a nice little foam texture. To form the rudimentary face on my latte cup, I just took a large piece of clay and put two little small circles on the top for the ears and one extra piece in the center to form the nose. And again, to make this more realistic, you're going to texture the foam. All I'm taking is a clay tool and forming little small circles. You can use crumpled up foil, toothbrush, whatever you need. Make sure this character head actually fits in your cup. If it doesn't, then you need to start all over again. Go ahead and texture this onto the center of your cup. Add two extra circles for her little paw, and you can kind of see the character already forming in your little adorable latte cup. Once you're done texturing your character, you can move on to coloring it. I'm going to use chalk pastels, which is really colored chalk. I bought this set at Walmart for less than $1.50. I'm going to use this brown chalk here in the center. And with a toothpick or a brush, you can just color the rim around your latte character. Toothpicks take more time to color your clay. However, you will notice that it gives you much more precision than a paintbrush. And since you already pre-baked your cup, you don't have to worry about the chalk coloring the nice mint colored cup that you have here. It will only color the white clay, so make sure you spend extra time to not get chalk fallout all over your clay piece. Now that I'm completely happy with how my little coconut character turned out, I'm going to bake this in the oven again for another 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you want, you can glaze the bottom part of your cup when you're done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And again, I want to give a shout out to Joanne for such a wonderful idea. I do have an Instagram account. My username is Flying Mio. You can follow me there if you want. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Good luck crafting and have fun. Bye.